I was talking to someone the other day and we we're talking about how how did I end up becoming a um, well the title of adventure rider how did I finish up here as an old codger never ridden a motorbike in my life four years ago I thought oh that might be something different I'll give that a go and uh, I guess it was that the wife and I have always been into bushwalking and then we got the then we're into camping and hiking and all that sort of stuff. Then we bought a four-wheel drive. Then we had the kids and uh, for the next, you know, close to 15 years we were out camping and doing desert trips as a family. Bloody good fun, that. Awesome time. No through road. Hmm. There's a giveaway sign there, so it makes you wonder if this is another one of those roads that's a no through road. It um, goes through. No, that's it. She's all over. Yeah. So where was I? So we um, we did all the bloody fall driving, Simpson Desert trips, and God knows what else. And then, uh, and of course, the kids grow up. They don't want to go away with you. So the wife and I, we still get away every winter. We didn't last year, some bloody virus or something. And uh, anyway, so a few years ago, I was, before I got the bike, I was going away on my own in the full drive on photography trips, and that was all good fun. But, you know, I was pretty over the full driving. I, I only used it to get me around. So I got this bloody idea that I'd, uh, get a motorbike to uh, carry all my camera gear around so that was good I did all that and now the cameras are just collecting dust and uh, my whole time is taken up on this thing but it's good fun good bunch of people you knock around with not too many vegans what prompted me to get the bike I saw a, a uh, Thing on TV of Daryl Beatty doing a tour on the Canning stock route and that's what sort of thought geez that looks like bloody good fun now I'm probably never going to do that I can't imagine it but uh, yeah when you have never ridden a motorbike you've got no idea you go into the stores and look them at do a Google and this bike came up as a good beginner bike the other one was a DR 650 which is the one I looked at Every, every man and his dog's got one of those. Pro probably the best adventure bike all round. You can, you know, the DRZ's another one that heaps of people have. But uh, in the end, I went with this one. It, uh, I just liked the looks of it. It was probably, I don't know, it was probably the cheapest. It was probably more so that than anything. Another no through road up here. What does this say? pedestrians and horses only so you can see the cars have been through there I'll go and have a look to the bridge see what's there something about a bridge I haven't come across a bridge yet ah here's the bridge okay there we are I'm not going through there so where was I? Yes, that's right. So I bought this bike, and uh, I'm, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Very happy with it. I've no doubt whatever bike I bought, I would have been happy. Almost four years in, if I was buying again, uh, knowing what I know now, uh, I'd probably still go with the same bike. One thing this bike didn't have when I bought it uh, were as many uh, accessories as the DR and DRZ. You know, I didn't know any of this stuff. I had no idea where this motorbike thing was going to take me. But I thought, you know, I'll just buy it and cut around the hills and like an old fart, take a few photos. But it's sort of all evolved. But I have managed to get luggage on here. And 
there are paddier racks you can buy now so over the years you can now get good luggage for this bike but if you do that you're going to have to probably increase the uh, in suspension a bit I've got away with it up to now but I I may have to consider it if I want to do some proposed desert trips but I'll have to carry that much bloody stuff this thing had um, I doubt she'd, she'd get off the ground yeah so anyway back on to uh, what is an adventure ride you look on YouTube and you think of an adventure rider as a person who uh, loads up all their bike with all their luggage and goes on multi-day camping trips and uh, I knock around with the SA Adventure Bike Riders a bit and you realise there's this whole world out there of different types of riders there's those who've ridden all their life and they've road bikes and enduro bikes and some of these guys they go flat out they, none of them, they never carry luggage, they just trailer their bikes and that's what interests them and then there's a collection of people like myself who do the day rides and probably like the camping always ride everywhere, don't trailer anywhere you got the big bikes some people like to camp, some hate it, some would rather stay in a hotel caravan park, so they've always got a pub nearby so it really is whatever you want it to be. You know, this track's looking a bit rutted as well nowadays. Big rut there. Oh, they've even put some rocks in there. Oop, here we go. Far out. How's that? We've gone from the grapevines to the, from the plains there back into this beautiful, beautiful natural scrubland.